Hello, my name is Jeff Christians, and I would like to discuss with you a publication from the Prashant Kamat Group entitled Transformation of the Excited State and Photovoltaic Efficiency of Methyl Ammonium Lead Iodide Perovskite Upon the Controlled Exposure to Humidified Air, which was recently published in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. Hybrid organic inorganic perovskites have recently received significant attention throughout the photovoltaic community. In particular, the compound methyl ammonium lead iodide has demonstrated near ideal band gaps, low recombination rates in solution processed films, high charge carrier mobilities, and a high tolerance toward defects, which has driven an unprecedented rise in the solar cell efficiency, from less than 4% in 2009 to a certified efficiency of 20.1% today. In addition, the low temperature fabrication of these perovskite solar cells further drives down the energy required for construction, and consequently the greenhouse gas emissions as well, making this a highly promising new class of photovoltaics. Arguably the most significant problem associated with perovskite solar cells is their poor stability, particularly when exposed to moisture. Even when exposed to a relatively low humidity level of 55%, no adult and coworkers observed very rapid degradation of the photovoltaic performance in just a couple days. Therefore, significant work must be done in order to improve stability to the point where these perovskite solar cells are able to withstand the 20 to 30 years of operation needed for um, actual commercial implementation. Previous studies on perovskite solar cell stability have observed a degradation to lead iodide when methyl ammonium iodide films are exposed to humid air in the light. We observe a similar phenomenon, but we also find that the degradation is very different when it under happens in the dark. Instead of converting to lead iodide, as evidenced by the formation of a peak in the absorption spectra at 500 nanometers, we instead observe a loss of absorption across the visible spectrum. Therefore, we studied the degradation of methyl ammonium lead iodide films in the dark in hopes that this would provide information as to the mechanism of humidity degradation. We tracked the degradation of the methyl ammonium iodide films stored at a range of relative humidity conditions, first by UV visible absorption spectroscopy in order to determine the rate of this decay process. It is possible that exposure to humi humid atmosphere can significantly change film morphology. We studied this change in morphology by taking scanning electron micrographs of perovskite films deposited on planar substrates. We see a definite structural change in the films, especially when they're held at high humidity. These changes are most clearly seen in the perovskite film stored in 90% relative humidity in the lower right. In this case, 14 days of exposure to these conditions induces a recrystallization of the perovskite films, with the resultant films becoming very smooth and highly ordered. Looking at previous literature on the interaction of water and methyl ammonium lead iodide, we find that Vincent and co-workers previously reported on the structure of a hydrate of methyl ammonium lead iodide which can form upon the addition of lead nitrate to an excess of aqueous methyl ammonium iodide. This hydrite species forms a pale yellow-white crystal and adopts a zero-dimensional perovskite structure containing isolated lead iodide octahedra. In addition, several groups have suggested that this hydrate could form when methyl ammonium lead iodide films are exposed to moisture in the air. Because of the similarities between this reported hydrate and our degraded perovskite films, we chose to investigate this connection further. Crystals of the methyl ammonium lead iodide hydrate were synthesized by following the literature method and can be seen in the picture at the right. Comparing the XRD patterns to, of the degraded perovskite films with those of the synthesized methyl ammonium lead iodide hydrate crystals shown in traces D and E respectively. We can see distinct peaks arising at 8.42 and 10.46 degrees, which appear in both of these samples but are not present in the XRD patterns of either methyl ammonium lead iodide itself 
or lead iodide. Moreover, we do not see a peak arising at 12.5 degrees, which is characteristic of crystalline lead iodide. This provides evidence for the similarity between the two hydrate species. Additionally, we see the degraded perovskite films and the synthesized hydrate crystals both can show a reversion to crystalline methyl ammonium lead iodide when they're removed from a humid environment. This reversion can be seen in a change back to the dark black brown of the crystalline perovskite and in the appearance of peaks attributable to methyl ammonium lead iodide in the XRD patterns. And this reversion provides strong evidence for the formation of a hydrate of methyl ammonium lead iodide. Probing the excited state dynamics of the degraded films using femtosecond transient absorption spectroscopy we see a gradual decay of the features corresponding to the crystalline perovskite and a growth of a new bleach peak at 508 nanometers. This new peak shows significant resemblance to the transient absorption spectrum of pure lead iodide. While methyl ammonium lead iodide films exposed to moisture in the light can form PBI2, we do not find any evidence for crystalline PBI2 when these same films are exposed to moisture in the dark. It is therefore likely that some small amount of lead iodide is formed in the present case when the degraded perovskite films are exposed to laser excitation during the course of the transient absorption experiments. Perhaps more interestingly, when investigating the recombination kin kinetics of the perovskite films, we find that despite the dramatic changes observed in the optical absorbance, we see no observable changes in the excited state dynamics on the nanosecond timescale. This implies that water forms states which do not act as recombination centers, and that the methyl ammonium lead iodide which has not yet reacted with water remains largely unaffected by this degradation process. Finally, in correlating these findings with photovoltaic performance measurements, we observe an almost total degradation of photovoltaic performance in only three days when the solar cell is stored at 90% relative humidity. As expected, the solar cell stored at 50% relative humidity degraded much more slowly, but still decreased in performance by 40% in only three weeks. On the other hand, solar cells which are stored in dry conditions show promising stability with very little deterioration over the course of this three-week experiment. Although it should be noted that these solar cells were stored in the dark between trials and we're not under continuous illumination, which has been shown to speed the degradation process. In conclusion, we see a loss of color across the visible spectrum when perovskite films are exposed to humidity in the dark, which we attribute to a hydration of the methyl ammonium lead iodide. We see distinct similarities between this hydrate species and a previously characterized hydrate of methyl ammonium lead iodide which can be formed from aqueous solutions of lead nitrate and methyl ammonium iodide. Additionally, it does not appear that the loss in absorbance completely accounts for the loss in photovoltaic performance, an observation which points to another mechanism being responsible. We postulate a breakdown in the long-range charge transport or a modification of the perovskite spear omitad interface as perhaps the most likely reasons for the degradation of photovoltaic performance. However, other possibilities exist as well. Finally, we hypothesize that the degradation of the perovskite structure of methyl ammonium lead iodide occurs when the water is able to form stronger hydrogen bonds to the ammonium hydrogens than to the lead iodide octahedra. Controlling this process and determining ways to slow or even mitigate this reaction between methyl ammonium lead iodide and similar hybrid perovskites and water will be crucial to their eventual, eventual implementation in commercial solar cells. We would like to thank you for watching this presentation on our paper, Transformation of the Excited State and Photovoltaic Efficiency of Methyl Ammonium Lead Iodide Perovskite Upon Controlled Exposure to Humidified Air. This manuscript is published open access online in the Journal of the American Chemical Society. For more information on our research group and our other work and events, visit kamatlab.com or find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash kamatlab. Thank you.